What's up everybody, this is Jay, and this video is about Russell Westbrook being traded for Chris Paul, CP3, to the Houston Rockets. This is a blockbuster trade. Those of us following the NBA knew it was coming. It's finally here, and now let's get into it. The Thunder trade Russell Westbrook to the Houston Rockets. Russell Westbrook is an eight-time All-Star. He's been with the team 11 years, pillar of the franchise, traded because of after Paul George asked to be traded to the Clippers. They basically are in a full rebuild mode. Now, Russell Westbrook is going to be teamed up with one of his good friends in the NBA and former teammate James Harden, and he's a former MVP as well as Westbrook, and now Houston has two of the last three MVPs in the NBA on the same team in their prime. Now, they had success in their early years when they were with the Oklahoma City Thunder in the 2011-12 season, and they made it all the way to the NBA finals but they ended up coming up short against the Miami Heat they were a young team they weren't really prepared but everybody knew that this was going to be a franchise on the rise and a future dynasty but unfortunately the owners didn't want to pay James Harden a little more than a million and a half that he wanted more and in return they traded him to Houston and their franchise never made that same success again. The team was rounded out by Durant, Westbrook and Harden as well as Serge Chublaka and uh, Kendrick Big Perk Percolator. They also had veteran Derek Fisher. Fish Wish was there to help bring stability to the team but unfortunately Unfortunately, they thought that they would be able to continue the success with just Durant and Westbrook, but they never were able to reach the same heights. Now, um, now that they were in the playoffs, unfortunately, they were never able to duplicate the same success they had during the regular season that time they were fortunate because they were young they all were on relatively small contracts only one player made over 10 million and that was Durant and he was only making 15 million dollars uh, unfortunately the ownership at Oklahoma City were pretty much new to the NBA they were trying to keep their payroll and expenses down and they missed out on the chance to have one of the greatest dynasties they they had drafted three MVPs at the same time in their prime. Now, Russell Westbrook is probably my favorite player in the NBA. He's the face of the Jordan brand. He wears the Jordan signature shoe. Michael Jordan handpicked him because he has the tenacity. He never takes a playoff. If you ever seen him play, every play is amazing. He just plays his hardest, but he, as a point guard, makes questionable plays. He's not the best point guard. He's actually a shooting guard and a point guard's body. Now he's led the league in scoring twice. He's averaged a triple double three years in a row. Previously, it has only been done once in NBA history, and that was with Oscar Robertson, who was a larger guard than himself. Now in the playoffs, Russell Westbrook only had success that few years with Kevin Durant and Harden and he's came up short ever since Kevin Durant has left and with Paul George on the team they have not gotten out of the first round the last two years. Russell Westbrook signed a huge salary extension where he's making 35, 38, 41, 43, 46 million coming up and that was making it more hard for him to be traded. Luckily Houston was ready to move on from the Chris Paul experiment and James Harden is the perfect candidate for Westbrook to play with. They know each other. They've played with each other. Now, when Harden did play with the Thunder, they used him as the sixth man. Harden never even started a game for the most part with Houston. I mean, with OKC. In three years, he only started seven games, but he was able to take over the point guard position when Westbrook was on the bench. He was able to bring scoring, and that was able to help them 
to be a more stable team. But as soon as he went to Houston, he went from 16 points a game to 25 points a game. And he's never scored less than that ever since. In the last two years, he scored over 30 points a game, leading the league and scoring himself. And in the 2017 season, he almost averaged a triple-double, averaging 29 points and 11 assists with uh, eight rebounds. In the playoffs, the same story for Harden. Now, these last two years, he's had more success going to the Game 7 against the Golden State Warriors in 2018, but ever since then and before then, he hasn't had much success in the playoffs either. Now, Harden also has a massive contract as well, and so it'll be interesting to see how is Houston going to build a team around them in the future, but nevertheless, that's something they'll worry about at that time. Now, the Thunder have the best uh, chance to rebuild their team after this trade now that they have so many draft picks coming in thanks to the Paul George trade and the Russell Westbrook trade. On the other hand, Houston now has, uh, without a doubt, the best backcourt in the NBA and they are now poised to make a strong challenge and push to make it to the NBA Finals and possibly capture this championship. When Russ Westbrook and uh, Harden were together, they were young, and that now that they have more experience under their belt, the sky is the limit for them, but the window is still small because they're both at around 30 years old, and so they really only have relatively a two three-year window at the most to capture this championship now the thunder are going to try to play the long game and have draft picks and draft swaps lined up all the way until 2026 which will put them in a position to stay relevant and have trade bait to improve their team for years to come now when they lost paul george it pretty much made the thunders playoff ceiling crash um it was already a question after they went back to back first round exits whether this paul george trade was even worth it um and then they extended paul george to a huge contract extension as well so basically trading westbrook is they coming face to face with realizing that they need to go through a full scale rebuild and just start over from scratch the only thing that's really beneficial to them is that sam presti has proven himself to be excellent in drafting good talent now when westbrook duran and harden were together and they reached the finals it looked like they were on the verge of a dynasty, but now all three are gone, and that era is now completely over. It's sad for fans of Oklahoma City because now they realize the, the, the lightning in the bottle that escaped and that this era is finally over. In the end, I hope it's much success for Chris Paul, Westbrook, Harden, OKC in Houston, but I know that it's not going to work out for everybody. More than likely, Chris Paul will be flipped by OKC to another team in exchange for draft picks and young players, and maybe Chris Paul will be able to work something out with that new team. I think probably the new teams is maybe Miami, since they were the leading team to get Westbrook, and they have the salaries and the players to trade for him or a better fit for him to be a champion will be the Milwaukee Bucks although it would be a little more difficult to make that work with the trade and uh, the salaries and exchange and pieces in the end I doubt he's gonna stay with OKC and it's more trades to come this summer I want to thank everybody uh, for watching the video Please subscribe if you haven't did so already. If you like this video, hit that like. I'm trying to get 20 likes for this video. Um, everybody that support me at Patreon, where you enjoy my exclusive behind the scenes content and early access to my videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace and I'm out.